What's up guys, 3D Mo here. So a few of you guys contacted me through Facebook and asked me how I got my easy ABL sensor to work correctly with my Kinevo Tiny Machines heated bed, which is an AC heated bed. So after working it out with Timmy, we basically realized that the AC current was affecting the sensor. So Timmy gave me an idea to get some TP-Link wireless Wi-Fi adapters and uh, I basically did that and I want to show you guys how my startup script goes and how everything works now so here you go all right guys this is my CR10 S5 with the Kinevo heated bed from Tiny Machines so I want to go ahead and show you guys my startup script and how it basically turns off and on during the probe setup. So let's shoot over to the computer real fast. I already have the file uploaded. I'm working on this turtle here. So I need another H clip. So I'm gonna go ahead and set it up to print. So let me just click that. Okay, once we get to temp, we should be fine. Let's go back. Okay, so we're currently at 168, 170. So once that gets up to temp, it'll basically start the start to auto home. Sorry for the shaking. I'm gonna make sure I get all my boogers off from my last print. So yes, basically I downloaded some Linux libraries, I put it into the Raspberry Pi, into the home directory, and downloaded a program called G-Code. G-Code, what is it called? I don't want to give you guys the wrong information. Sorry for the mess. G-Code System Commands. And there you create your own custom command, you point it to the home directory and the IP address of the Wi-Fi outlet. There's actually a plugin now in Octoprint, it's much easier, so I did it the hard way. Not really hard, but I did it the longer way. Okay, so as you can see, my heat bed is still on. It's starting to auto home. I'm just going to grab a bugle with my finger. Okay, so we're auto homing. So once it's done auto homing, it should shut the heat bed down. I'll actually leave my startup script in the description below so you guys can have it. Okay, so it shut the heat bed down and it's going through the auto bed leveling process. Bear with me, it does take a minute. It's an S5, so it's a pretty big heat bed. So in on this one. Mind my dirty build plate. I just finished printing. And guys, I'm using no springs, I'm just using ABS and actually a bearing I put underneath so I can get it up a little higher. So my bed is just on stilts. So this auto bed leveling thing really works. And I'm using BuildTac, as you can see. Printed a ton of stuff so far. It's been taking a beating. A little pricey, but it beats playing around with hairspray and all the other stuff. It's a long little bed leveling process. It's a big plate. And we're printing a little H clip. Isn't that ironic? Okay, so I'm going to show you guys once it's done with the last probe it'll kick on the heat bed 
almost there. Here we go. So there you go. Turn on the heat bed. It's auto set to 65 degrees Celsius. It's going to go up again pretty fast. Extrude some filament. I should stop printing. Okay, so let's go up here so we can actually see. And there you go. It's always a perfect first layer. There you have it. That's my auto bed leveling startup script. I'll leave the link in the description below. So a few people actually hit me on Messenger, private messaged me on Facebook and asked me how it was working out. I recommend them to Timmy's website, like always. It works out, and it's worth the support. So that's my startup script. I'll leave it in the... Uh, description and if you guys want me to go into detail on how to set up the libraries or the new plugin on Octoprint just leave some comments and I'll make another video I didn't want to go too in-depth to it because not a lot of people have the Kinevo upgrade so let me know if you guys need that have a good one happy printing